All right, what to do, YouTube? Your boy Eyes and there's Tatsuko, man. Back with a video. I just want to let y'all get a look at uh, my uh, shotgun setup. Um, I just think these are two awesome shotguns, the KSG. Uh, you know, the capacity is ridiculous on that. That thing right now, YouTube, I'm in a safe controlled environment. That thing is loaded up with 22 mini shells. And as you can see, I got two size saddles on the KSG. Um, the white. The white shells is double odd buck by Rio. Uh, Rio makes that, and that's the that they, they had a deal going right around a twenty five round box uh, for twenty five bucks. You know and that thing is flying out at thirteen hundred forty five feet per second, two and three quarter shell, and I have the uh, Federal Premium T Law Enforcement ammunition. Tactical tactical loads, and this is coming out hot too. And this is that wide control, flight control. I do not suggest that for home defense. If you got people, neighbors on the side of you, that thing it, it keeps this. It's basically like a slug, so do be careful with that. Uh, so I got a couple slugs on here, and I got a double eye bug flight control on there. Um. Got the sling for the shock wave. Like I said, in home defense, I don't really like the sling on there. It's a little bulky with all those rounds on it. But I have it laying right next to my nightstand. But again, I got 10 minis up in here, and I got six shells on the side. If I need more than that, man, it's an assassination attempt. I mean, y'all heard me say that. I really agree that. If you got to run through 22 minis and all that, uh, you must have had a bunch of jams and you know, somebody really wanted to come get you. But for the most part, I think this is a really nice loadout for shotgun. Let me know what you guys think. I got, I think this is a double eye buck too, and that's by uh, PMC. And these are loaded up, chuck full with ammo too. Uh, like I said, I don't really shoot this ammo. This is just gonna remain on the scabbard, you know, Unless I go to a range or something outdoors, I'm gonna go really just go nuts. Then I just reload it back up. But I got minis loaded up here, double eye buck late loaded up right there. I mean, that's a lot of ammo to be just ready on the ready to go. And then this one, the same way, double eye buck and four buck. And then I got slugs right there. And then I got that flight control right there. And like I said, I just keep that. I'm just gonna keep that loaded up. I'm not gonna really shoot that. Uh, like I said, unless I go to an outdoor range and I really want to just let loose, shooting watermelons and fruit and water jugs and soda cans. Then I would just take this and shoot all that up and then reload it. Okay. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. Again, ten plus one in this one. Six on the side on the saddle. Then you got 15 double eye buck on the, on the sling. I do have a KSG, it does have a sling, but it's not, doesn't hold shells. But I do have a sling that goes on here. I just don't have it because I usually have that in home defense. Again, I don't like slings on my shotguns on home defense. But if I had to run and, run and gun and get up out of here and snatch this, I would put the slings on it. But uh, let me know what you guys think, man. That's a pretty good loadout. There's a lot of firepower right there. And uh, I think everybody should have a shotgun. Um, just a really good option for home defense, short ranges and stuff like that. You can reach out with these too. Now don't get don't get it twisted. You can reach out, but and you can put a uh, you can put a stock on that, and, and you have a full shoulder fire, three points of contact shotgun. So, and I do have another shotgun coming. So stand by, stay stay locked into my channel. Um, I got another shotgun coming and. And I think it's a, it's a reliable one too. So uh, let me know. Drop a comment in the box what your shotgun setup is, uh, what, what kind of uh, scabber system you got or shell carrier system you got. I uh, really like these, these uh, like this shell carrier is by K9. It's a metal shell carrier. And this is just basically a Velcro rip on. You just rip it on, put it off. And this is by Midwest Industries. Uh, shout out to 2A Ninja. He, he hooked me up with this one. This is by Midwest Industries. Yeah, so I'm trying to see if I can get the logo up in there. Yeah, Midwest Industry makes this one. And that one's by K9. So I like the metal shell carrier holders. 
But if you're gonna put it on your stock, I mean, you know the Velcro ones. These run. These these are just as good, you know, for the Velcro ones. But uh, yeah, man, let me know what you guys think, man, and uh, stand by for more content. Like, comment, subscribe. Be responsible, gun owners. And uh, yeah, see you guys on the next one. Peace.